I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Back in 2018, I was in Finland photographing the bears, wolves and wolverines. I have been there a couple of years ago earlier, uh, but this year here was actually a good year with a lot of pictures, especially with the wolverine, which I had never photographed before. But <laughs> I bought a hard drive uh, early that year, which I only uploaded the picture on that hard drive. And unfortunately, something happened and the hard drive crashed. <laughs> and I did not have any backup of images. The only thing I have done that the best images that I thought was... Uh, uh, the only thing that I had done was taking the best pictures and made them for like uh, ready for posing on the web. And how I do that is to upload it in I think it's 2500 pixels on the longest side, but it's not large enough to print out if I wanted to print out some images. But for uh, web, that's okay. So unfortunately that was a really 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 bad time for me and i was so low down uh, i loved the images and i wanted so bad to print out some of the images but until now that i have discovered a program that actually could make my dream come true of some of the images and that is a tool from uh, topaz labs called gigapixels and that is a program which are like generating extra pixels to like double the size of the image. And if I had double the size of the image, that is enough to like print it out in like say 60 by 50 by 70 or 60 by 70. And that is the print size I wanted to use for. So I was really excited to try that out and I'm going to show you a little bit about that now uh, how I got to save an image and how awesome awesome job the Gigapixel have done to my images that I haven't had the possibility to <clears throat> use for printing at all only for web and now I can use it for printing and also the Gigapixel uh, can be great if you are taking a picture and you need to crop a lot uh, because <clears throat> this picture here has some bird behavior or animal behavior and you saw that this uh, only thing that you can do is to crop and if you crop too much you, like I said you cannot print it out but you can actually uh, have to use that as well uh, I haven't done that yet um, because uh, it's ha I don't have cropped too much uh, yet but it's good to have that possibility but for me it was amazing to like have the possibility to save some images and uh, also yeah so let's dive into Topaz Gigapixel and I will show you a little bit about that program there now I am in a Gigapixel AI here you can see a picture of Wolverine this has a size of 2351 pixels on the longest side and that is not too big and uh, big enough to maybe make a print of out of uh, 20 by 30 centimeters. I want to print it uh, much more larger and let's see if Topaz Gigapixel will give some magic. This is the sidebar of the Gigapixel and you have different kind of uh, resize mode. Uh, I want, want to use the scale because I want to uh, resize the whole image, not just the width or the height. Um, and I want to, to make it a two times larger uh, and that makes it this you can see here the pixel will be uh, 4702 pixels on the longest side and that is uh, large enough to make larger prints for example 70 by 60 so that is what I'm going to stick with for now and if you can see here this is AI mode and uh, the first one is standard it says here the best choice across a variety of images works well with photography but can cause some artifacts with fur or feathers and this has fur so it can cause some artifacts but i'm going to try that first and see how that will be the next one is lines so if you have architectures like cityscapes or like straight lines you can use this and next one is art and that is like um, 
a graphic art or drawings or anything with art next one is low resolution and that is called a compressed best for images with blocky compression artifacts keeps more detail than a very compressed model uh, and the next one is the best for images with a lot of compression artifacts with example that they are saved at small size scanned images or old digital photos but what I'm going to try is either standard and low resolution and see which are the best. You can see here we also have a suppressed noise if we like want to have lesser noise and remove blur. I'm going to keep this as auto and see how uh, that will affect the image. When I'm ready and made my choice I will press update. And this could take a while to process. Look at this. This is actually really, really nice. Look at the different hair. Here is the resized image and here is the before image. And I don't see the whole image, so I don't see uh, if there are too much artifacts. But I'm going to just see how the low resolution is before I save the image. So I'm going to press uh, low resolution and press the update and let the AI model process the image once again and here it is it's a lot softer image and of course it's a lesser chance for the artifacts so uh, what I'm going to do is to press the standard once again like this and just save the image and I will save it on both and see uh, what are the best okay so here is the result here is the standard version and it was actually right it's a little bit too much of the artifacts when you see the other one which is the low res here you can see the other one is the low res result and that is much more pleasing so i'm going to zoom a little bit in here now and see you can see this is really really nice and what i'm going to do is to pick up the standard one as well now I have zoomed in on the Wolverine and you can see here and here is the next one. This is really really nice and I'm really looking forward to try to print this out and see how good it is on big print. And I'm so so glad that I could save some images that I was really really happy with but lost on a broken hard drive. And now I can restore it, I can use it for printing and oh, yeah. This was so good. You can head over to Topaz and see uh, if uh, this is a program that is um, valuable for you. And if it is, you can use the coupon code TRON15 to get 15% off the purchase. And yeah, and I will definitely show you a little bit more of this if I get some images that I need to crop extremely and I can try to like make it a little bit larger i can show you uh, in another video but this is it for now i'm so happy to save some of my images that i lost now i have them again and yeah for a long time i wanted to have my own web page but it simply is too complicated for me i don't know anything about coding so therefore i just postpone it and i haven't done anything about it until recently where I discovered Squarespace and see how simple it is to set up my own web page. I'm still in the process about doing that. There's uh, a lot of things that I want to do, but it's so easy to do. Uh, you can simply drag and drop your images to fit your page and showcase your images. And to get you started, you simply choose your template to fit your style. And if you want to sell, for example, your images or your calendars, it's easy to set up a merchandise on your web page. So if you're looking for a web page yourself or upgrade your current web page, go to squarespace.com forward slash Tron Westby to get 10% off your purchase. And once again, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video.